the book went over well in Italy. The first line of the book is, to be Italian is a full-time job. I think that's quite straightforward. Or, oh, Italy is, is, is a country that, that can send you into ecstasies and having you like really angry in, in, in 10 minutes on a hundred yards. I mean, that's a kind of good summary of my country. A country which I like a lot. I mean, I'm really fond of Italy, but I think if you write a book like this for a foreign audience, you have to be honest. I don't, you, people don't want a press release about the country. You know, sometimes diplomats have to, to issue something like press release about their own country. Everything is good, everything is fantastic. No countries. You know, my, the bottom line when you start writing and talking about cultures and nations, including Canada, I believe, is my rule is all countries are wrong. That's the beginning. You start from there and you, then you decide when occasionally they are right. Let me, uh, let me uh, take something you've written and throw it back in your face because that's, uh, that's just fun to do with an author because, you know, it's so, uh, it's your fault you wrote it. Italy is disconcerting even in its defects. Just as you're about to write the country off as shallow, it reveals unsuspected depths. And when you look into the depths, the surface becomes a mirror. Anything might be going on down there and you wouldn't know about it. That's what it is. Italy is, is disconcert, disconcerting in many ways, but it's also very appealing. Italy, uh, it's, uh, I, I said before, a happy country. It's full of joy. Uh, I have friends from beyond the Alps, and that includes Canadian, American, British, Germans. They come to Italy and they, you can see, I can see they're relaxed, laid back, they smile, even before their third gin and tonic. It's fantastic. Let's talk about the concept of la bella figura. La bella figura, far una bella figura, could be translated with leave a good impression. In fact, in the Washington Post review, uh, very recently, the reviewer said, uh, why Beppe says that La Bella Figura is such a quintessential Italian concept? You know, why can't we translate it with make a good impression? Because it's different. Uh, La Bella Figura is something, is more than leaving a good impression. It's the, it's the importance of the way things look in ev everywhere. You know, it's the, it's the kind of supremacy of the aesthetics in, in everything you do. You know, b a bel gesto, like a great, a lovely gesture is more important than good behavior in many ways, which is not good, you know. But La Bella Figura is to leave a good uh, uh, idea of, of what you've done. It's the way you dress. You want to be pleasant. Mm. I, if you, an Italian woman, any Italian woman, age 6 to age 96, given the choice between four skirts and four shirts and four pair of shoes, combination, she will immediately pick the best combination. Can I say that many American ladies will just go for the worst possible combination? Uh, not all of them. They are making you know, great progress in that respect. But maybe because they don't care, because they think about the essence of things. You know, you've got to stay with kids, I have to go to get dirty, I have to take walk the dog, who cares? The answer in Italy is everybody cares. I care. My husbands care. The people who are going to walk, walk me and see me in the street do care. It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. The, the book is a, is, a, is a great romp. And, and sometimes I was laughing and then I was going, is he being serious? And then it would, I never quite knew. It was lovely. It, was, it really dances along that line. Is that what you're aiming for? Yes. Everything I wanted was to be sitting in a Toronto office overlooking another, you know, skyscraper and hearing this. No, I'm serious. You know, I, that's exactly what I wanted to, to do. They were walking a tight line between fun and serious thinking about it, Italy. But I think if you are too serious, people get bored. And if you are too funny, people dismiss your country as in, unimportant and irrelevant. It, Italy is important and it is relevant, believe me. The book is La Bella Figura, a field guide to the Italian mind. I've been speaking with the author Beppe Severnini. How did I do? Getting there? Better. You're getting better. I keep trying. And La Bella Figura, published by Broadway Books, distributed in Canada by Random House.